We have a question from Eeg, E.G. Can I replace back squat with goblet squat in your H&R program? For the life of me, I don't know what H&R program is. So I would say yes, uh, but I don't know what it is. So uh, and this, but actually you bring a good point. We're to a point on uh, on the internet where everyone likes to use an acronyms. And the problem is a lot of us don't know what you're talking about. Uh, my daughters were telling me about these, these losers and they had some kind of um, like short and little thing. And I was like, how am I supposed to know that? You know, that's, that's not me you learn in school. And they're like, oh, everyone knows it. Well, I don't. So this is a good example. I don't know what you're referring to. Um, let's just say this. Since I cannot load goblet squat to my ideal back squat benchmarks, I can now goblet squat 28K or 224K in the rack position for double kettlebells. That's fine. I perform your, your goblet squat. That's great. My arms are not the limiting factor. My legs are. I'm, I'm trying to stay as close to the program as possible since I know it's not a good idea to modify, modify programs, but I'm a very bad back squatter and I really love the goblet squat. Yeah, and the interesting thing, I think we have another question coming up on this in just a moment, but a lot of us just aren't very good at squats and uh, I'm sure some power lifter is rolling their eyes right now and they're going to say I'm terrible and all these other things, but the truth is some people don't squat well. Uh, uh, I've, I've noticed that throughout my whole life, my whole career. Uh, some of us pick up certain things really quickly. Um, I, I had a student who jumped up and did 66 pull-ups, shook out his arms, jumped out and jumped up again and got up to, a, uh, did another set to, up to a hundred. And I thought to myself, I, I don't know how to teach that. I don't I mean, that's that there's DNA in there. There's, there's stuff. So it's okay not to be perfect in, in a certain lift um, as long as you I, I think it's important to do the movement of squatting the load isn't as important so I'm going to say yeah go ahead and do it I, even though I don't know the program I think you'll be fine uh, do you recommend me working on goblet front squat until I can reach the upper limit of kettlebells available which is double 32s you know unless you're competing double 32s in the double kettlebell front squat that's a that's a true effort. That's that's good stuff. You you don't need to do much else. So I'm I'm giving you permission. Here I am giving you permission to do that. And I think I think you'll be a happier, wiser person by doing that. Um, I, he doesn't want to. That's funny. His last line. I don't want to give away my love of goblet squats. Well, uh, I have it on authority that goblet squats love you too. So enjoy. Yeah. When in doubt, do the movement of squatting and don't worry so much about the load.